Hey YouTube, time for another fish room update. This one is for March 2017. Stay tuned. Hey YouTube, it's Brian here, coming at you with a fish room update today. Um, thought I would start downstairs in the basement and uh, show you what we've got going. This is my flower horn. This is uh, Colossus. He's a 9.9 uh, Confa. Guy's doing awesome. He's really been growing a lot lately, so um, that's been kind of cool. There was quite a period of time where it didn't seem like he was growing too much at all, but um, doing well, looking good. Haven't had any problems with this guy. Really enjoyed having this fish and uh, it's really fun to uh, have him in the fish room here. So yeah, he's doing great. Down below we've got uh, the Midas pair. Nothing's changed with them. They're both still doing great. She's, uh, she's looking really good, so is he. Just always really have liked her since I've got her with the white and then kind of the orange around the eyes and a little bit in the face there. But it would be really cool if they would spawn. They just haven't, and I don't know that they ever will, which is fine, whatever. But it would be cool. And then over here is the tank that generated more messages than I've probably ever received in one month because in the last video I called these hogas. I don't know why. I haven't had hogas in a couple of years. These are the same reddest latest that have been in this tank for probably six months now that I refer to um, in every video. But I accidentally said hoga for some reason and everyone's like, you got hogas? Sell me some. So these are red is latest, I repeat, red is latest. They are uh, just the last six grow outs that I kept from my pair. And uh, still contemplating whether I'm gonna keep them or get rid of them. Leaning towards getting rid of them because I'm gonna maybe slim down a little bit down here. Not quite sure, but I'm thinking about getting rid of two to four 75 gallon tanks. Not quite sure yet. So these and some other fish would go. Um, down below here I moved what Red Devil Fry I had left into this 75. I don't know, there's less than 10 in here. Maybe even around 5 or 6. Not a big deal, but figured since they survived I'll see if I can grow them out and if they turn into anything. These are from one of the uh, Red Devil pairs that I've since moved on. Um... I have the lights out down here too, hoping that that'll help with the glare a little bit. But, probably not. So this is my red magma flower horn. He's been doing good. Also seems to have grown a lot lately. More so in girth, actually. He just seems to be getting thicker. So, he's doing well. Haven't had any problems with him. Problem when you have a several tanks in one room like this, you get glare from the lights all over the place. But what can you do? Doesn't doesn't make for very good video videography, but that's him. Next are the Sequia colony, which I am ready to get rid of. If anyone's interested, I would prefer to sell this entire colony. There are four really good sized adults. I think, ooh, they got scared. I got at least two males, maybe three. I think this big one here in the middle of the screen is actually a female. Then I've got some smaller, um, I know that this one in the back by the heater there coming towards the shot right now is a female. Some of these others, I'm not quite sure. But there are probably 12 to 15 total in here. If anyone's interested, let me know. But I'm gonna, this will be one of the tanks I'm probably gonna take down. 
So if I don't sell them, I may throw them back in with the Redis latest like I used to have them and use them as dithers in there. Uh, one of the Hadiensis pairs right here doing well. No spawning action yet, but that's okay. Just enjoying keeping them. This male is just, I really, really dig the coloration. Just like how it's lighter towards the front of his body and his head area and gets darker towards the back. Sometimes his fins are really black. I wish the female would color up a little bit more like they are when they're in kind of spawning mode. Pure black like my other one that I'll show you in a little bit. But these guys are both doing great on this 180 here for now. Uh, up above are the uh, Motas. They've spawned a couple times in the last month or so. And uh, they just always end up eating the babies. I haven't pulled these and I don't plan on pulling them. Well, I mean, at some point I might pull them, not to sell, but just to raise up some more for myself, possibly. But, uh, you know, if anyone is looking for this line of motos, the, the guy to go to is Sean Hyden, not myself. I'm not, uh, not going to be selling his line. just want to keep them for myself uh, and enjoy them. The tail on the male is slowly healing up, but I'm not sure that it ever will. But it has made some progress. She's looking just awesome, too. Yep, so... Here we got the Redis Latus. He, for some reason lately, has decided to continuously try to go after her in the tube, even though he knows he can't get in there. And he keeps hurting himself, and you can see the spots on his nuchal hump. Um, you know, they almost healed up, and then now he's back at it again. But this guy's just a beast. This hump has just gotten huge lately, too. Much bigger than before. But I'm going to have to take this tube out of here, I think, this uh, cement tube, if he doesn't stop it, because I don't want him to really, really hurt himself. Same old story with them. No breeding action, although about, with, about a week ago, or maybe less, her tube was down pretty far, and they were hanging out in the pot. I thought for sure something was going to happen again, but I should have known better than to be fooled, because they've done that to me before. But, yeah. By the way, I don't know if I've shown this in a video yet, but check out these awesome decals that I got from Doty. All sorts of cool ones. Marijuana, Magnus, which is Mike Manzombie, some discus, another arowana. She also made me this sign, which I think I've shown you already. But if you're looking for any stuff like that, hit her up. She can give you some good deals and uh, make you some nice stuff for your fish room. So here's the other Hadiensis pair. As you can see, she's colored up really nice and black. She's actually usually blacker than this. Um, she's lightening up a little bit, but they haven't spawned at all since the one spawned when I was on vacation. There is another male and female in here. Here's the male over here. Um, the female, respectively, is always in that corner. They just kind of keep this. This pair runs the tank, and they keep the others at bay. I may pull the others back out. You know, at first they, I think they helped them kickstart the one spawn they had, but now I don't think it's doing anything. Uh, may try to find some kind of dithers for both this and the other Hadiensis tank. See if that does anything. We go from there. Orion is right here. Just quick grab a seat so I can interact with him a little bit. Yikes. Um, they've got a big pile of wigglers in the back of this uh, pot right here. Had a big spawn like always here recently. I am contemplating moving these guys on not quite sure yet if I'm going to. They're not a, a pair that I can ship, so I'd need to find some 
somebody local that would take good care of them. I, I really like the pair, but I'm thinking of thinning the herd a little bit in the fish room. And so these guys would probably be the first ones to go if, if, if anything had to go. But I don't know. It, it, would, it would be hard for me to let them go, but at the same time, sometimes you got to do that in this hobby. I'm also thinking of adding something, and if I did that, this would be a perfect tank for them as well. And I just don't have... I, there's no way I would ever get rid of the umbies above to free up that tank, so they'd have to go into this tank. So that takes me to the umbies. Uh, they've got a spawn right now that uh, you can see. She has uh, got a cloud, I guess, behind her of fry. She's being pretty protective. So that's good. They spawned for me once before, but ate the eggs. So this is the first time that we actually have free swimming fry since I've uh, gotten this pair. For those of you that are new, these are F1 Rio Mag Umbies. This is Optimus and this is uh, Matrix, the female. Optimus is looking really good lately. Well, so is both of them are looking really good. I mean, they're just a, a really nice pair. can be happier to have these in my fish room, so. Got a bunch of fry though, so that's cool. I don't know if I'll pull these and grow any out or just uh, see what happens to them. So moving on over here, I've got a male feste up here. He killed the female, unfortunately. So I'm gonna move this guy on. So if anyone's looking for a nice male feste, hit me up. We'll work something out. I've, uh, I ship anywhere in the country via Delta Cargo. He is probably in the seven inch range, I would say. Um, very nice looking male. Of course he's gonna hide when I'm trying to show him off but um, so yeah let me know also below here are these Centrarchus I'm gonna move these on as well if anyone's interested let me know uh, most of them have healed up nicely some of them still have some fin nippage and stuff like that but I'd be looking to sell there is uh, six of these so I'd be looking to move all six of them on at the same time there's also a a uh, some sort of I forget if it's a I don't even remember if it was a if it's a red devil or an amphilophus or excuse me an amphilophus red devil or if it's a sequia because they've both been in this tank at one time or another um, a piece of a, a fry that survived and now he's starting to get pretty decent size here so um, I'm not sure I'd have to take a closer look at him see what he actually is. So, that's kind of it for the basement. Um, we'll take you upstairs and show you the final tanks. I'll do a shrimp tank update separately for those of you that like that. Um, it's water change day on the reef. There's the reef over there, so that's what all the mess and buckets are over here. Try to get a new update on the reef here soon, too. I'm gonna close the shades. Um, discus are doing okay. There's been a lot of fighting lately and some of them are nipped up and have scars on them and stuff. So that's pretty disappointing. But um, no deaths, nothing like that. I'm trying to decide what I want to do here. If I want to continue to keep discus, if I want to get rid of some of these that I'm not totally into anymore and get some others to replace them. I don't know. This tank is probably the hardest tank for me to maintain. It gets the dirtiest because I got so many discus in here and I've also got the white sand and blah blah blah. Also for whatever reason algae just grows like crazy in here. I run Fosgard in my sump. Not my sump, canister filter, sorry. And uh, do regular water changes and I cannot control the algae for the life of me. Um, so something's going on that I just can't figure out. Maybe too much light, maybe because I got a window that sun shines in on here. I'm not sure, but anyway. That's that tank. Cheeto is still doing great. 
Let me take a look at him. Um, he is, uh, like I say, doing good. Hungry right now, I can tell. The loaches in here are all doing good too. I'm gonna do a little quick feeding while I have here to show you how crazy the loaches can get at feeding time. I feed two things in this tank. I feed the uh, Southern Delight Veggie Krill. It's actually in a, a different uh, container, but because I buy it in bulk. Um, and then also um, the Southern Delight Large Cichlid formula. So I put that in first and she will get, get some food. And then the uh, veggie krill goes next and then the loaches really start to go ape. I just love that stuff. It's great food, that Southern Delight. Cheeto's really a beast. It's pretty fun having them here in my office. But yeah, that's that. Um, and then the 90 gallon um, planted shrimp tank. Pain in my butt a lot of times. Um, is doing okay. I'm thinking about maybe taking this down. Not 100% sure. Maybe redoing it. It just hasn't what I've wanted to do hasn't transpired. You know, I was able to grow the carpet, which is nice. It's been infiltrated with scuds, which sucks. I can't really treat it for scuds because then it'll kill all my shrimp, whether I use a live animal or a chemical. So I'm kind of just stuck. I, you know, I get kind of picky a lot of times with my tanks and having all these scuds. You can see them all on the back wall. Just don't look good. The shrimp colony too. I've gone at it a couple of different times now and they seem to thrive and then something happens and now either I've got a ton hiding under the carpet or I've had die off because I just you know I had a couple hundred in here now this is probably less than a hundred maybe around the 50 point range. You know they were breeding having babies and, and there's babies in here still right now but I'm just not uh, it's just not going the way I wanted to so I got a couple ideas of what I possibly might do here. I may just start over and do the same type of a setup too, but if I do want to keep this scenario that I've got going here, I've either got to, well, I, I, I can't, I need to take it down and start from scratch because I've tried having loaches in here before and as they do kill the shrimp, they take took really good care of the scuds, but if they don't get a couple, if there's a couple that are able to make it and hide, it ends up multiplying into hundreds and thousands very quickly again. So even if you think you got it, usually you don't. So I want to start completely from scratch, not reusing any of this stuff. Or if I do reuse the rocks, I would uh, obviously let them dry out completely, soak them with something, go from there. So anyway, uh, we'll end this video with another quick look at Cheeto. Um, thanks for all you guys that uh, subscribed to me. I'm almost at the 10,000 mark, which is really cool. Um, less than 100 away from that. Probably, I think, less than 80, actually. I did check that out the other day. So thanks to all you guys that have been watching my videos for, some of you for years, some of you for months or only weeks. But thanks for subscribing. Thanks for making the comments. And, uh, you know, if you're looking for any of the fish that I said in the video that I may be getting rid of, uh, email me. My email address will be below and uh, we can try to work something out. But until next time, thanks for watching and uh, take care.